All right, folks. Well, I have left Knoxville, but I think I'm going back next week. It's a, it's a whole thing. But I decided to stop off in Dalton, Georgia, because it's on the way back home. So I figured I'd stop by. They've got this pizza slash brewery place, which I, I, and there's only two breweries in Dalton. So this is the only one that's open right now. So why not? Why not pick up some lunch? Because I'm pretty hungry and grab a brew and see what it's like. So hi, my name is Gabriel Manic. I'm an actor and I am starving and a little thirsty too. Okay, well, I'm over here in Dalton, Georgia. Decided to make a pit stop, you know, get some lunch because I missed breakfast at the hotel. Hotels, can you please start making breakfast, like go until at least checkout, like 11 a.m.? You know, you get up, no rush, maybe have some coffee, you go back to the room and, you know, enjoy some TV or you read a book or you get on the gram and then take a shower, you get all your stuff together, you go downstairs and have some breakfast and then you go check out very very easy let's let's start making that. that that's a social cause that I care about so yeah so I'm here at Cherokee Brewery and Pizza Company so why not kill two birds with one stone or consume them eat them I don't know so we got pizza right here yeah, look, look at that right over there that looks phenomenal look at that Ooh, so good so so good and also, we got a beer, and I decided to do a flight beforehand. Well, <clears throat> the, the brewer, Barry, he's like, hey, let, let's get you a flight. So I don't usually do flights because I try to do everything like pretty much on the spot, but try them all out. And this so far, I think is like, you know, my favorite on, on there. But there is a difference. When you drink it from a small glass compared to a pint glass, it's, you're gonna get more more flavors. I think it's gonna do it even, even more justice. So I don't know what I wanna do first. I don't know, this place has been around for six years. And also, did you see that brewcade? I mean, obviously, if you got to this point in the video, they've got an arcade at a brewery. And John, if you're watching, I don't know. If we ever travel outside of Atlanta, this is a place to stop by and check out. So let's, let's do the beer first. This is a, it's a double IPA, it's called a Man Killer. So, which I guess is kind of appropriate because I've been working on these crime shows. Although my character has not been killed, many male characters do get killed on these shows. So the Man Killer double IPA, it's usually seven, eight, but this batch went to an 8.1. So, I'm ready for breakfast. Who knows what's gonna happen? And the, the hops that are used for this, for this batch specifically, are Sultana, Mosaic, and Cascade Hops. So, folks, you see it on the screen. First sip's the one that counts when you're thirsty. Cheers. That's really good. But you know what's crazy? Even though this is a double IPA, it doesn't, it's not heavy. It's not heavy, it's medium light, medium light I would say, but this, this is this is one of those dangerous ones. Like, it's, it's gonna go down quick, easily, and before you know it, you're gonna be in assless chaps, singing at a Nashville uh, karaoke bar, um, but singing Harry Styles as it was. You know, none of those go together, but you're gonna do it because of this beer. This is really good. By the way, the aesthetic, aesthetic of this place, um, 
it's very industrial, which I like. You know, that, that's usually the main the main theme or the main grab of like why people go to some breweries because it's like you know it's grungy and stuff, but it's really nice wooden tables and then like plus the fermenters right back over here. There's actually a stage, and I was telling Barry because it turns out he's a he's a musician as well. Mm -hmm. um, you know, obviously you guys know that I, I play, sing, play guitar, and this would be a great place to perform, like just with the acoustics and all that. Really, really cool. So this man hater, man, <laughs> man killer, the feminists, yes, the future is female, right? <clears throat> the man killer, the man killer beer. Mm. So this, I'm gonna go with an. Honestly, I'm gonna go with the current ABV on it, eight one. I'm gonna give this an 8.1. This is really, really, really good. Um, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a big fan. Man, I definitely, next time, next time that I'm going up to Knoxville, which I believe is next week, I'm gonna have to step by again. All right, let's try out this pizza. So I decided to get the Marge. Now, I'm not saying that incorrectly. On the menu, it does say the Marge right over there. It's basically a, a Marg, a Marg pizza, margarita pizza. So it's got CP, CBP red sauce, which um, which is, well, it's their own signature sauce. So CP, CBP, uh, Cherokee Brewery Pizza. Uh, it's their own signature sauce, which is awesome. Fresh mozzarella, basil, garlic, and olive oil. And Barry told me that all the ingredients here are in-house. They, they make it themselves. So that's really, really important. Yeah, so let's, let's see what I can, I can do here. It's got a nice flaky, flaky undercarriage. Man, I'm, I'm really hungry. I'm really looking forward to this. You know? Not bad. I don't care about the flop. Again, like in the last video. Who cares? Who cares if there's flop? As long as the flop tastes good. So here we go. Look at that. Pretty good. Pretty good. First bite's the one that counts when you're starving. Was a sourdough? Wow, this bread is really good. Not too much sauce, which kind of complements everything else going on with it. This is, mmm. Mmm. So good. That crust, I really, really like it because there's a softness to it, but then there's a crispiness with it, and it's not too like in your face crispy, which every now and then I do like those. Um, but this really, like right here on the end, mm. very nice. <clears throat> Honestly, guys, I mean, look at this thing, look at that. I can't wait to eat more of this. Oh my God, I, I'm so excited to take this home. And, and the fact that I know that I'm going to have more, that there is more after this. Wow, that is, I just kind of want to try the slice right here. Look at that slice, look at that. Mm. You get a little bit of tang from the, the, the amount of sauce that's in it. It is really, really good. This, <clears throat> That's the thing. There's a really nice balance of the flavors, which I'm really digging. You know, so sometimes you'll get you go to a place, too much cheese. You go to another spot, too much sauce. Another time, too bready. This is a nice compliment. There's a nice balance of all the ingredients. I'm, I'm a fan. Oh my god, that is so good. That is so good. I'm so happy that I'm going home with this. And I'm going to be having this while watching probably Dave Portnoy review a pizza and give it a 6A. Because this pizza is not getting a 6A. This pizza, for a mark, and it's not a traditional 
margarita pizza, definitely not. But as a mark, um, oh yeah, yeah. Oh man, eight, 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 eight. Let me give it eight, eight. This is this is really good. So guys, next time that you're in uh, Georgia, if you're heading up to Chattanooga, because I think Chattanooga is like maybe 20 miles from here, so pretty close. Stop on by Cherokee Brewery and Pizza Company because good stuff is all around and the vibes are great, the bartender is awesome. And they don't just serve their own beer, they also serve beers that are like in Georgia and Tennessee and stuff like that. So you get nice variety. So cheers guys and I will see you on the next review.